hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for being here if you are new here you are welcome please consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on your notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload a new video and if you are my returning subscriber i would like to thank you all for always coming back to watch my videos i appreciate you guys so today i'm going to be teaching you how to cut and sew a 360 degree peplum. So if this is what you like to learn, please stay tuned to the end of the video. So I have with me a crinoline African fabric and then a lining, my scissors and my tape. So we are going to be using this crinoline. You can use any width depending on how long your peplum is. And this crinoline gives the bouncy effect to your peplum. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the video. So to cut 360 degree flare, you need to fold your fabric into four. So this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side of the fabric. I folded it into two and I folded it again into four layers so to cut this peplum you need to know where you want to fix your peplum the circumference of where to fix your peplum so i'm going to fix it to join this top this is half body pattern and i'm going to join the peplum on the down part so what i'm going to do now is to measure all the around the down part which is the waistline so by doing that, I got 39 inches because I want a little pleat in the peplum. So I added 5 inches to the circumference that I measured. When I measured around the waist, I got 39 inches and then I'm adding 5 inches for the pleat. I just want a little pleat inside, not too much. So I'm adding 5 inches for the pleat. So 5 plus 39 is 44 so the waist circumference i'm working with is 44 inches and i'm going to be dividing 44 inches by 6.28 that's the radius of a circle 44 inches divided by 6.28 i got seven so seven is going to be the radius of our peplum now the second thing is you have to know the length of your peplum and the length I'm using for this peplum is 8 inches plus 1 inch for the joining of the peplum to the brows and then the joining to the lining. So the length I'm using is 8 inches plus 1 inch is going to be 9 inches. So that's the length of the peplum. Now, our radius for this peplum is 7 inches. So you are going to add this 7 inches to 9 inches. So 9 plus 7 inches is 16 inches. You need to forge your fabric on 16 inches. That's what I folded that is 16 inches by 16 inches. But I got 70, which is enough for the peplum. The next thing we are going to do now is to mark the radius on the folded edge here. So this is a folded, this is folded, and these sides are open. So we are going to mark our radius on this folded edge. Hope you can see that. So I'm going to be marking 7 inches all around. So this is it. The next thing to do now is to take the length of your peplum. And I'm going to mark 9 inches all round. And then there's another thing that is so easy to do. If you don't know how to calculate your radius, what you do is 
the whole waist circumference we are working with is 44 inches the simple thing to do is to divide 44 inches by 4 and you are going to get 11 inches so when you fold your fabric you just take your tape and make sure that you get your 11 inches you see that so this is it guys it's very easy to cut and it's beginners friendly so the next thing to do is to cut I'll first of all cut the radius and then after cut the length This is our full circle. This is half circle. And then when you open it, we have our full circle flat. So what I'm going to do now is to fold it back and use it to cut the lining. So let me see if this will be enough for the lining. So the easiest way to cut my lining is to open the lining like so. Open my peplum and then Spread it on it to see if I will get, if it's not enough, then I will have to join it. So this is all I have for the lining. I don't have enough. I need a little bit to join here on this side. So what I'll do, I'll cut from here to add there. So guys, what I'm going to do now is to join to this part. You see, the lining is not enough here. So I'll... We join this piece to this side like this and then come back and show you the next thing to do. So guys, I'm done cutting the lining. So this is the lining. So I'll be ironing this hard paper stain. I'll iron the shiny parts to the main fabric. Then I'll iron this soft interfacing. It's also paper gum. I'll iron it on to the line. Then I'll come and show you the next thing to do. So guys, I've finished ironing the interfacing on both the fabric and on the lining. So I decided to use the hard one on the lining because the lining is very soft. And then I use the light one on the fabric. So the next thing to do now is to open one side into two. I'm cutting one side open, that's for the zip, so I open it, you see how beautiful it looks, without the crinoline yet, you see a 360 degree flare, so what I'm going to do now is to go and attach the lining to the main fabric, so I place the good side facing the good side of each, so I'll be taking it to my machine, then I'm going to attach the crinoline on the edges. You can choose to pin all the lining down first. So the next thing to do is to attach this crinoline. This is the hard crinoline. You can use the soft one if you want. This is what I have at the moment. And it measures, I have two inches for the width. You can use three inches, you can use four, depend on the size of crinoline you have. So what I will do, I will take it to my machine. So I will lock the edge because the edges used to give discomfort to your client. So I will take it to my machine and then use this piece to lock the edge from the start and to the finishing of the lining. So I will attach it like this. Once sewing the lining, I will place the crinoline and then sew it with half an inch all right if you feel the crinoline is difficult to handle you can still pin it all around the down part of the peplum after sewing i'm going to flip the lining and then top stitch the crinoline on top of the lining not the main fabric i will do all and then come and show you what to do next you see how the peplum look very neat and nice so this is it, I've gone ahead and did everything and I top stitch the crinoline inside. You see how I did the crinoline along the edge. So the next thing I'll do is to close this side like this. So my friends, 
this is the end of our 360 degree purple you see how beautiful it looks and it's so nice and the crinoline has given it that bouncy effect you see so guys i'll be attaching it to this beautiful brows if you want me to make something like this for you let me know in the comment section below so guys thank you for watching my video please if you find this video helpful and useful don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to share my videos to your family and friends to help this channel grow and if you are new to my channel and you never subscribe yet please do so by subscribing to this amazing family thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye